Hey guys, Joshua Smith here, just grinding in the office, getting my hustle muscle on, making things happen. So I um, wanted to create this quick video today to talk to you about calling expireds, right? So this is something that an inquiry that I get almost on a daily basis. Hey, when I start calling expireds, what do I do? What do I say? So this video is not about what do I mail to expireds. Um, we've created other videos of that in, in our GSD knowledge round. So if you have a, a curiosity about that, go reference that. This is about what do I pick up and what do I say? So when I pick up this phone, you guys, I have multiple options. Um, I can be bottom line up front, whatever their name is, homeowner, you know, hey homeowner, Joshua Smith, your ABC real estate agent, I, I just noticed that your home expired on the MLS. Looks like you were trying to sell your house, you had some real estate goals that you were looking to accomplish, those real estate goals were not met. If you were still looking to accomplish those same real estate goals, I would love the opportunity to interview for the job, right? So I'm just gonna pick up the phone, boom, do that, right? That's a bottom line up front. Now that's not my favorite script, but that's one that you can just go out there and hit a bunch in a day and get it done. That's kind of that now business, right? Cause you're gonna get a lot of people that are like, hey, we're not ready, no, we're gonna take a break, whatever it may be. So that's the now business. You got to understand that expireds typically uh, are taking about a 90 day breather. Like they're not expiring and relisting. Everybody goes after expired as day one, right? You have a hell of a lot more success going after them day 60, day 90 than day one because the vast majority, it's like, hey, we just had our, our house on the market for six months. We're kind of sick of making our beds every single day doing that. We're going to take a little bit of a break, right? But that is a bottom line up front. Hey, your house just expired. You had some real estate goals that you were trying to accomplish. Do you still have those same real estate goals? Um, and if so, I'd love an opportunity to interview for the job. Not asking to hire me as a realtor, just asking for an opportunity to interview for the job to show you the strategies that I do that make me so much more successful than the average real estate agent in the area, right? Um, now, that's just one option. My favorite, absolute favorite script though is a survey. I'm always looking, when I'm attacking these, you guys, I'm always looking for other avenues, other elements that nobody else is doing. Like everybody else, everybody else is doing that crap. Everybody else is calling right up front. They can work, they can be effective, um, but I like to be different. And I also understand I'm never thinking of the now. Like I'm gonna get some now business, but I'm always thinking long term, right? Like, like let me invest that dollar today because I know someday down the road it's gonna be worth $10. Let me plant those seeds today with human beings because I know at some point down the road that's gonna be worth 10 escrows, 10 transactions, right? So I wanna have a, 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 not a hardcore aggressive approach where we can kind of, kind of warm up that relationship, focus on the human connection, get to know them, get them in my database, uh, um, and then work on it over time. Um, so I do a survey. My favorite expired script is a survey. So I call up their names, let's say their name is Joe. Hey Joe, Joshua Smith here. Notice that your house is expired on the MLS and I know that you're getting bombarded with other real estate agents calling you, trying to list your house, begging for your listing. Just so you know, by no means is this a sales call. You know, my name again, Joshua Smith, ABC Real Estate uh, Company. And again, this is absolutely by no means a sales call. At no uh, time am I going to ask for your listing and ask for your business. What I have found is the best way for me to grow my business, grow my level of service, uh, uh, the services that I bring to my clients, is to survey homeowners. Homeowners that had a real estate goal. You know, they had a real estate goal of, of selling the home for whatever that, that reason may have been, um, and that goal was not accomplished. So I have found for me to grow my business, the best way, the most effective way is to survey you to find out, you know, what went, what went right and what went wrong, you know, what those things were. Um, I know your time is valuable. I respect your time. If you, I've got a couple quick uh, questions, so just take a couple minutes. Um, if, you're, if you're in agreement, I will send you out immediately a $10 uh, Starbucks gift card just for taking the survey. Right? Give them something of value. They're going to say yes. The vast majority say yes uh, when you can get them on the phone, right? Um, if you're leaving voice ball boxes, I'm just going to say that. Hey, Joshua Smith, ABC Real Estate. Just so you know, this is not a sales call. By no means it's a sales call. It's actually a survey. Um, and then if you complete the survey of two quick questions, I'm going to send you a $10 gift card for Starbucks, right? So it's just a quick voicemail, get them to call me back so that I can go through that survey. Um, what the survey does is it allows me to focus on the human connection. I'm able then to get them venting, get them talking, and focus on the human connection. So, so the survey is just this, once they're in agreement. Yeah, no, that sounds cool, we can do that, absolutely. Okay, great. So first off, I'd like to know what your real estate agent did that you liked. You know, ultimately there was things that didn't happen, um, and that's why your home didn't sell, right? But first, let's start off with some of the things that they did right. Like, what were some of the services that they provided? What were some of the things that you thought they did really well? That if you were a real estate agent, you would continue to do those things. Um, if you were to hire another real estate agent, you would like to continue to see those things done. You know, right? So we start there. Sometimes it's nothing. Sometimes it's I have like nothing good to say. They're pissed off, whatever it may be. But a lot of times, like, well, you know what? Uh, they did do this, this, and this very well. 
Um, and, and you guys, these surveys are so powerful, not only because you're going to get the expired business down the road and some of them now, uh, it also helps you grow your business. Dude, you're surveying the clientele, your avatar that exists out there of what their wants and their needs are. Like we don't want to go out there and assume we know what people's wants and needs are. The best way to do it is just go out there and ask, right? Like, like what was good, what was bad about your experience? And then make sure that we craft uh, the level of service and the things that we do to make sure that it's a great experience. So I'm going to go, what was good first, right? Okay. So once I've got that, okay, yeah, that sounds great. Okay. Then let's go into what you feel they did that you didn't like, what you feel that should have been done differently. Really, ultimately, why do you feel that uh, they failed at getting your home sold? Why do you ultimately feel that your home didn't sell? And this is usually where they just lay into it, right? And if I know at that point, like if I know if, they're, if they just start going and venting, venting, venting for you get 20, 30 minutes, whatever, like boom, like dude, at that point, I've got that connection, right? It's like somebody that's venting to you about, you know, their ex or a situation, right? Um, at that point for them to vent, they start feeling more comfortable with you. They're opening up to you. Uh, it goes really well. So I'm just listening. I let them vent. I listen. I'm not interrupting. I'm just taking notes, just listening and venting. And then when they're done, I go, I go back at them and I just, I just tell them, you know, it's unfortunate. Uh, you know, selling and buying real estate should be a positive, fun, exciting experience. And, and, I, and I truly, truly apologize. Even though I wasn't your agent, but I truly apologize on the behalf of the real estate community that you went through that experience and, and, and had to experience uh, what you went through. Um, you know, I don't know what your goals are. And I know I said that this wasn't about listings and it's not. I told you I was going to survey you and put the gift card in the mail, which I am. And I'm going to do that right now. Um, however, a lot of the things that you're pointing out here uh, that you were unhappy with, that you, that you feel they like didn't do, ultimately why your house didn't sell, are things that we specialize in. You know, these are the things that we specialize in that we do very, very well on a very high level that allows us to sell more than one house every single day, that allows us to get our clients 5% more um, in their pocket than the rest of the, the agents in the marketplace. So these things and whatever, whatever they have down here, I might start listing them. You know, they're like, oh, well, are they, they never communicated. Well, unfortunately, you know, communication, that, that's something, there's a lot of things I can't control in the transaction, but communication um, is something that I control, and I believe in being brilliant at things that you can control. And we actually have a communications guarantee in place that says, we will communicate to, with you um, this amount of times per week, and if we don't, you can fire me at any time. You're never stuck into a long-term uh, contract. So at that point, you guys, you gotta kind of think on your feet a little bit, right? Like, they're gonna tell me what their concerns were. I'm gonna look up, these were their problems, these were their concerns. I'm gonna be the guy that solves those problems. So I'm not going really high pressure here, right? I'm just gonna identify what those problems are, let them know what we do differently. Um, and again, let them know this is in the sales card. I'm gonna send out that, that gift card right away. Let them know what we do differently uh, to make sure that those won't be an issue or a problem or a concern in the future. Um, and then ask them, hey, you, know, you, you were looking at selling, you had certain goals in place. Um, are those goals still needing to be accomplished? Uh, maybe they're relocating. Like, do you still need to relocate? They had a reason they were looking to relocate. Like, do you still need to relocate? Do those goals, same goals still need to be accomplished? Yeah, they do. Okay, well, let, let me just ask you this. And, and again, the purpose of this is the high pressure you're going to get in your listing. Um, but from what you're telling me here, I truly, truly feel that I can serve and support you at helping you accomplish those real estate goals. You know, if you're open to it, I would love to set up a time to meet where I could come meet with you in person, show you everything that we do, go in depth, show you our whole entire marketing plan of action from the second that you decide I'm the real estate agent for you to the second your home sells, go through it step by step by step and show you how we have the solutions um, to, to overcome the problems that you've had thus far and, and show you how um, what our game plan is and what our strategy is to accomplish those real estate goals right um, would you be open to that would you be open to a meeting and again there's no pressure there's no hassle there's no obligation the the whole entire purpose and the whole entire reason of the meeting is to educate you on the process educate our services so we can make the best decision for yourself for your family Right? And, and a lot of you guys, you're going to get some that say, absolutely, let's do that. Sounds great. You've already connected with them. We're in the human resource, human connection business. People that they connect with are the ones that get the business, right? So, so you've already connected with them. There's going to be a good chunk that says, yeah, you know, let, let's go ahead and meet. Set that meeting, right? Tomorrow, next week, whenever that may be. Um, there's going to be a good chunk that say, ah, you know what? No, we're just, we're just not ready yet. Yeah, no worries. And again, like I said, this wasn't a sales call. I even apologize that it went that route. Uh, um, you know, I, I, just, I just feel really bad that you had experience what you had experience. And, and, and and I know that if and when you ever think about selling in the future, um, if you were to utilize my services and choose me for the real estate agent for you, you would never experience what you experience because, again, those are the areas that we specialize in. So what I'd like to do is I'm going to mail out this Star uh, Starbucks gift card right now. 
I'm going to put this in the mail to you. Um, but in the meantime, with, with, with your permission, I'd like to stay in touch. I'm not going to send you crap. I don't send spam. I don't send junk. Just giving you updates on what's going on in the marketplace, tips, tricks of certain things to do to improve your home's value, to, to sell your house, whatever it may be, um, market stats, what's going on in the area. So with your permission, I'd just like to stay in touch. And if and when, if you ever are thinking about buying or selling in the future, um, you know, give me, give me an opportunity to interview for the job. I'm not asking for the business, but just give me the opportunity to come out there and interview for the job, show you what, what a game plan is, so that way you can make the best decision for yourself and your family. Yeah, right? So they're going to say, okay, cool. It sounds great, right? You put the $10 Starbucks gift card in the mail, and then guess what, dude? Now you have them in your world. You have all the information that you need in your world because you know they're going to wait 90 days anyway. It's like almost 90% of them wait for three months. So now I've got them. Like my objective here, my, my ultimate objective, and this may sound funky, but is not to get the appointment right now today because that's going after the lowest hanging fruit, the, the, the very small portion of business. Of course I want to get it. I don't want to like not capture that. Um, but that's not my main objective. So many people are so just focused on the now business, you leave so much money, uh, um, you just piss away all this additional money, not thinking on the big, the big scope, the big spectrum. So my ultimate objective, get the information, develop a human connection with the time that I have, get them in my world, get their cell number, I've got their address, I've got their email, get them in my world, right? Continue to further that human connection over time, dripping them, stay in touch with them frequently, because now they're gonna get hit you know, with my Monday messages, my Wednesday texts, my Friday messages, my holiday emails, um, all of this different stuff, monthly market updates on a consistent basis, so when they, in 90 days, 120 days, whenever that may be that they're thinking of selling again, dude, I'm front of mind awareness, I've got the human connection, they're thinking of me, now I, I, I've got the shoe, I shouldn't say the shoe in, but at least I get an opportunity to meet with them face to face to go interview for the job. So that really should be the objective and that's what I recommend to do and that's why that's my favorite script because it's the best long term strategy I've ever found. Not the best, you know, maybe quick term uh, where you're just, you're just slaying and listings that kind of the initial bottom line up front script I shared, but it's the best long term script that's going to help you build this massive database and build a shit ton of, of, of future clients. So anyway, hope you found this helpful. Go out there, keep dominating, and we'll talk really soon, you guys.